Hi everyone, in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights from this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Heliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. I do apologise, but I have a bit of a cold this week and I'm a bit blocked up, so yeah, please bear with me on this one. I really appreciate all your support on Twitter and social media, Instagram and Facebook. It means so much to me and the Nelson Heliard team. And make sure you click the notification bell when you subscribe to our channel. So you don't want to miss out on the latest shows. And check out our cloud tech blogs on AWS migration, transformation, cybersecurity, blockchain, and all things cloud tech. And also be sure to click the link below and subscribe so you don't miss out on our latest blogs. Watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Lindicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. All of the shows are also on Stitcher and iTunes as podcasts. I've included the link below. Remember to connect and reach out to me and my team for the latest cloud tech jobs. The social media links are below for LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. This week sees a potential crippling scandal with Supermicro, Apple and Amazon. Bloomberg released its findings in an article that was published yesterday claiming that the Supermicro had sold motherboards containing malicious chips to almost 30 US customers including Apple and Amazon. The article says that chips were planted by Chinese spies to enable backdoor access to all private networks the motherboard systems were involved with. In the wake of this report, Supermicro stocks have collapsed more than 40%, while Amazon and Apple each saw their stocks decline by around 2%. Despite that, the three companies are purporting the claims to be false. Bloomberg News says the report is rock solid and based on more than a year's worth of investigations and more than 100 interviews. On top of this, it is claimed to have inputs from multiple former current Apple and Amazon employees in addition to the current and former US national security officials. Of course, these are all allegations, but if true, they could blow the industry apart far beyond this trio of companies. For example, other big players like IBM and Intel are both known Supermicro customers. This week, Iron Mountain has affirmed commitment to APAC with a new acquisition. American information management company Iron Mountain has announced the acquisition of the information management operations of Velex Security in South Korea in a bid to expand its presence and market position in Asia Pacific. Iron Mountain Asia Managing Director Peter Wang said that expanding our presence in Seoul and adding talented members of the Velex team represents an important opportunity for our business in South Korea. This week sees JFrog raise 165 million US dollars, outpacing Google, Azure, and AWS in the 50 billion dollar DevOps market. JFrog's so-called liquid software allows its customers to deliver code in the form of binaries, so they can deliver it regularly behind the scenes without impinging on the user experience, according to TechCrunch. It's a 50 billion US dollar market, which is populated by some of the big names, such as Google, Amazon, Microsoft which is also in the process of acquiring GitHub for 7.5 billion US dollars, as well as smaller DevOps players such as Atlassian, which has enjoyed an 88% rise in its stock in 2018. JFrog is a big hit with developers. The company says it adds 100 new corporate customers a month. One thing that developers like about JFrog is that it works for them regardless of which technologies they are using throughout the corporate coding value chain. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard. Thanks for watching this week's Cloud Tech News. And please get in touch if you have a Cloud Tech story that you'd like us to feature. You can email us at media at nelsonhilliard.com. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. And you can also connect with me on LinkedIn, find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can also check out the latest shows with David Linthicum and also the podcasts in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe, and keep our clouds secure.